Autosar. Explained by Annette Kempf. Welcome on our next um, meeting and session on Autosar Classic. What did we do so far? Um, in the first event, we had a look on the overall um, Autosar parts, including foundation, um, adaptive, and Autosar Classic. And then we started um, to do it bottom up, starting with a microcontroller, the microcontroller abstraction layer, which is in green. Then we had a short discussion on complex drivers and the ECU abstraction layer, both in green. And um, today um, it's time for the services layer. The services layer um, is composed of uh, communication services, which are for some reason above the communication drivers, the communication hardware abstraction, and then you have a communication services. Um, the off-board communication services, the crypto services, the memory services, and this special, the system services. Um, on each of these, if you click, you will get to a page with specifications um, and we'll now go on the page of the system services. The system services have a special um, view because like you saw before, they are covering um, several levels. Um, here we chose the current release, which is the R2311 and found some of the documents which are connected and have been changed um, on this level. Um, so there are a lot of specifications concerning these um, communication um, or the services themselves. Yeah. Um, I opened also a specification, but from another area. In this case, I would like to have a look at the ECU state manager. And there, to, from the moment, I don't want to look at the full document, but to have a short look at some part of a specification. And why is the ECU state manager so important? It is handling the states and you need to understand for an ECU, which state it can be in and where it's going for, like to, to have a startup phase and also the shutdown phase. Um, people might often think that shutdown is not so important. I can tell you from a private um, thing which happened to me, um, we had um, a vehicle with combustion engine and we um, stopped the vehicle. Uh, and if you have combustion engines in summer, you usually you um, need to have a ventilator going. And there is a functionality which is giving you the chance, even if you if you shut down the car, you want that the ventilator continues working for a certain amount of time to ensure that the um, the engine is cooling down enough. What happened in this case? Um, the ventilator was going, 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 going um, until there was no energy left in the battery. So from this um, power latch after shutting down until it was really shut down, it never happened. And this um, caused um, problems, private problems. So the states have a reason why they are existing and why you need them. The same is with starting up, that you're not using so much energy. And this is just the example for the ECU state manager. Um, what I want to say also is that this specification has more than 200 pages and knowing that you have like a list of specifications which each can have several pages of specification, um, it's easy to get lost. 
And this is why we want to have a look at the architecture uh, in general and give you an, an introduction. Um, I'll go back here. And this introduction to the services layer will not be done by myself, but we will um, give you the chance to learn it via the Embedded Academy e-learning. Um, and we will provide you the extract from the services layer. It's an older version of um, Autosa, an older release. But nevertheless, as Autosa Classic did not change that much recently, I, I believe it's pretty accurate and I hope you enjoy it. I'll be back after it's finished. The services layer is directly connected to the hardware layer as well as the ECU hardware abstraction layer and is divided into five model groups. Its main task is to provide basic services for applications, runtime environment and basic software modules. The system services are a group of software modules and functions which can be used by modules of all layers. Some of these services are microcontroller dependent, like AutoSAR, OS, and may support special microcontroller capabilities, like time service, others are partly ECU hardware and application dependent, like ECU state manager. But there are also hardware and microcontroller independent ones. The memory services consist of only one module, which is the NVRAM manager. It is responsible for the management of non-volatile data, which means to read and write from different memory drivers. The main task of this group is to provide non-volatile data to the application in a uniform way. It also has to abstract from memory locations and properties. And provide mechanisms for non-volatile data management like saving, loading, checksum protection, verification and reliable storage. The crypto services consist of two modules, the key manager and the crypto service manager. The key manager interacts with the key provisioning master and manages the storage and verification of certificate chains, while the crypto service manager is responsible for the management of cryptographic jobs. The main task of this group is to provide cryptographic primitives and key storage to the application in a uniform way. Furthermore it has to abstract from hardware devices and properties. The offboard communication services are a group of modules for vehicle to X communication via an ad hoc wireless network. The main task of this group is to provide a uniform interface to the wireless Ethernet network and hide protocol and message properties from the application. The communication services are a group of modules for vehicle network communication, which include CAN, LIN, FlexRay and TCPIP. For each of these communication protocols a separate communication stack is provided. They interface with the communication drivers via the communication hardware abstraction group. The main tasks are to provide a uniform interface to the vehicle network for communication and diagnostic communication. As well as to provide uniform services for network management and hide protocol and message properties from the application. I hope you enjoy it. So um, now we are close to getting through. So we had um, all the levels be below the RTE. And for the next time, we'll have a look at the runtime environment RTE. And then finally, uh, we'll have a look at the application layer to make the, uh, the set complete. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again. Thank you and bye bye. If you want to learn more about Autosar and other interesting topics, go to embedded-academy.com.